Whiskey Hobbit here. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different review. I'm reviewing something that you can't get, and if you can get, it's not worth the money. In my opinion, in my opinion. Um, because you can only buy it at auction now, and it will go for a lot of money at auction. Um, it is Daft Mill 2006 Vintage, Rule My Whiskey's exclusive bottling. Um, I'm getting to try this because I work for Rule My Whiskey's. Um, but basically it sold out in seconds it, it was ridiculously oversubscribed um it's a shame but it's just one of those distilleries that people know because it sells well and the reason why it sells well is because it's such a small distillery and they make such a small amount of whiskey and therefore the fact that the amount that they produce is small that makes it rare and therefore sought after, I guess. I like some Lowland whiskies. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I like Daft Mill. And to be honest, the stuff I've tried from Daft Mill has been nice. It's been nice. I don't think it's worth the money. Hold oh, one second. Yeah, I don't think it's worth um, 100 pounds for a standard bottle. That's usually what they go for. This went for about 135, I think, when it was available. Um, and it's probably going to go for a lot more than that at auction, um, to be honest, just because it's a single cask. But, um, you know, it's interesting, it's different, it's worth trying if you can. The thing is, it's just w this kind of culture in whiskey where if something becomes limited or hard to get, it immediately increases the price, like drastically. Which is really annoying, because it'd be nice to just say, can I buy a bottle of Daft Mill? Yes, you can. Here's one, I don't know, £80 for a car strength one? I, I, it just, it's irritating, because even the standard Daft Mill, when it's available, which isn't often, and will, again, a bit like this single cask, they're gone in seconds. I think they're good, but I don't think they're worth it. I mean, it's a lot of hassle. It's annoying because you've got to basically put your name down or try and find somewhere that might know when they're getting some in and try and be friends with them and hopefully get a bottle. But, or just get lucky and walk in and find one. Yeah, it can happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically you've got to know when they're going to release a new whiskey and then just hassle. I'm not suggesting this because this is annoying, but basically try and find out from the different whiskey shops that you use when they're going to be released. Um, because each whiskey shop sh should do it around the same time, but they don't. Um, but yeah, generally it'd be around the same time. Um, but yeah, basically, um, this Daft Mill, it's a single bourbon cask. And it does smell strong, uh, 56%. Really creamy, very creamy. Like a lemon sorbet-y kind of sweetness to it. There's a little bit of a, kind of a thymey kind of herbiness to it as well. Yeah. Weirdly, it reminds me of, um, like, freshly chopped grass or um, weeds. <laughs> I, I've been doing a bit of weeding recently in my garden. It kind of reminds me of that kind of fresh, vegetal, greeny cut smell. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. And also, um, yeah, just, just also, um, like, thorny bushes that kind of, when it's wet. I don't know why. Oh, ha. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Um, kind of like a Oh, what's that cake I like? <laughs> um, a toffee 
kind of um, toffee treacle cake. Um, sticky toffee pudding. That's what that is. Um, yeah, it's it's a sticky to toffee pudding in a bottle with a little bit of lemon. <laughs> it's it's really nice. It's really good. I I have tried it before, but I didn't like it as much as I am now. Um, I have let it sit in the glass for quite a while just to open it up a bit. Um, I will say this does need quite a bit of water. Now again, I like Daft Mill. I think they're really cool, but it would just be nice to be able to actually get some without having to have the extremely limitedness of them. That's why I can't be bothered with Daft Mill at all. Um, people mainly are buying them, if I'm being honest, to sell. Uh, you see Daft Mill in every auction and considerable amounts of them. Um, it's very annoying. It would be just nice if people could leave it alone. Same with like any other thing that's collectible, like Japanese whiskey or whatever. doesn't matter what it is. If it's collectible, it's going to be bought and it's going to be sold. And then you'll have to pay 50% more or whatever. And it is frustrating. Um, it's nice to try things like this. And it's quite annoying when it's... Even from release, it's expensive. And then even like double that at auction so yeah i mean i like daft mill i like their other stuff i like this one i rate the distillery i think they're good but it just depends what you want from a whiskey i think you can get stuff in a similar price range that's considerably better than daft mill um in my opinion but um you know it, it's I guess it's more just the fact that it's such a unique experience from such a small distillery that's so new as well. Um, so yeah. Oh, it's really kind of getting into this kind of creamy fruitiness to it. Kind of a little bit of blueberry and yeah, shortcakey. Little bit, little hint of wax, just a little bit. And the tartness has actually come through a bit more with the water. It's less creamy now on the palate. Um, that's really annoyingly good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not that I'm biased, because I'm not. Um, at least I don't think I am. I would say that was probably worth it for when it was available the previous kind of standard edition bottles of daft mill if you can get one i think it would be worth it just to try um or if you see it somewhere to taste or, or to whiskey event taste it it's worth tasting but i don't necessarily think i mean i wouldn't have gone out of my way to necessarily buy this but it is very good and i i kind of think it's worth it was worth it now because I was a bit like worried that I was going to come out of this review saying that it's not worth it. Don't bother, you know, don't worry. Kind of, kind of is, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good. I'm going to give this... I see it's even... It's changed a little bit. It's... With water, that's brilliant. Um... Yeah, it's it's absolutely brilliant with water. I'm gonna give that 91 um, out of 100. I think that's fantastic. Um, again, I wasn't really sure about doing this review because I work for this company, <laughs> but well, not Daft Mill, we're all my whiskies. But I just um, I just thought I should taste it, and while I taste it, I could also give it a quick review and say what I think about it. Um, yeah. Lovely stuff. Um, and like I say, it kind of allowed me to talk about Daft Mill because I'm not going to buy a bottle of Daft Mill unless it's available and maybe more. If I've tried it and it's amazing, then I'll buy it. But yeah, it, that's a problem with things like that as well because there's so many other whiskies that you can taste first. You can't really do that with Daft Mill. You've just got to 
buy it because it'll be run out, it'll run out before you get the chance to taste it. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to be doing some more reviews soon. I'm not sure what my next review is going to be, but uh, something interesting. Uh, so yeah, until next time.